Hey guys, so I'm taking you to a quick Zeppelin walkthrough. When you will open Zeppelin, when you are logged in, you'll see a screen like this and uh, you'll have the projects you have been invited to or a project you have created. You will have the project here. You can create new projects if you want that. Now, in this project, you'll see these screens that I have built in XD and I've shared with you and uh, you'll see the tags specific tags like find your funding pages the blog pages the home page and all of the mobile screens can be seen in the mobile screen tag uh, there's also a style guide here uh, so all the colors that we have used the buttons in the footer the buttons over the transition these are the specific colors and this is the main blue and the main pinkish red color we have used all over the place and this is the body text color now when you look you will open a specific screen say i open this screen uh let me open this screen uh, so you will know what is the width and height of the logo that has been used and you know what margins do you need to keep from the above below left and right um, Similarly, you will be made aware of the margins that are required to be used on all the sides and the padding, the inside padding and the outside margins. Now, say if you are building this page, when you click on this particular icon, you will also have the asset right here and you can download the image from here itself and uh, this will take you through this will be downloaded in three uh, in three sizes and you can uh, choose the size that is required and you also have the dimension specific dimensions and the margins that are required the width and height that you need to use how much distance do you need to keep it from the uh, heading down there how much distance do you need to keep it from the heading up there so all of these things can be pretty much easily seen in zeppelin that's why i recommend this tool so much and uh, say for instance you need to build these headings and uh, you're looking what font what uh, font family what size what weight has been used you can even directly copy this css and uh, just directly apply this style and you'll have you won't need to go through all of that plus uh, the content can also be just copied by clicking on this link so it is pretty much uh, built for a design developer handoff and developers can take this in use and uh, do the design like build the design pretty much fast enough now say for instance you have these post and you have this image so this image is here to be downloaded from and uh, you can download and um, you can uh, copy the content from here you can look at the color of the font used you can look at the typeface and that, that's also available here so you can directly copy the css from here also for every text or every body text every heading every other stuff even the rectangle is can be directly built from the CSS so that is how it goes it's pretty much easy and uh, once you get the hang of it uh, you will be really uh, happy to have uh, used this uh, it will really help you like uh, you don't need to uh, have all of the assets at one place and then apply them in fact uh, you can do that dynamically when you're building this page you'll get all of the images that are that you need to apply you can directly download and apply from here you can see uh, what are the css properties that even apply to this box even the shadow how much is the shadow what color is it all of the properties can be picked directly from here and any content that you need to apply you can just click and the content can be copied so that's it pretty much easy and uh, every every element has this margins from both the sides from the top say for instance how much distance is this december 25 to this heading you can see six pixels so how much distance is this 18 pixels so this is how you can 
pretty much get all of those info that you would need while developing uh, and putting the HTML in place. So I really recommend this. Um, pretty great tool. I have already shared it with one of my developers and uh, he can always have the updates. So that's it. Hope you gain some advantage from this. Thank you.